Funding for this CyberWire Word Notes podcast is made possible by No Before, the experts in social engineering and the pioneers in new school security awareness training. The word is sideloading. Spelled side as in not from normal channels, and loading, as in installing a program. The process of installing applications on a device without the use of official software distribution channels. Example sentence. The user enabled side loading to install a third-party app on their Android phone. Origin and context. Most software vendors, including Google, Apple, and Microsoft, offer official versions of their software via portal sites or app stores. The responsible vendors typically vet the software for security and stabilization issues. This isn't foolproof. There have been cases where vendors have deployed malicious apps by mistake. But as a rule, it's generally much safer installing apps from the approved app store than it is installing unvetted apps, sideloading, from third-party websites or from Kevin, who lives down the block. That said, there are legitimate reasons for sideloading, and many devices allow users to choose to enable it. Android phones, for example, give users the option to download third-party software from outside of the Google Play Store, although they warn that there are security risks associated with this. iPhones, on the other hand, don't allow the installation of any apps outside the Apple's App Store, Users would need to jailbreak their iOS operating system in order to sideload apps for an iPhone. According to PC World, quote, jailbreaking can be thought of as the process of installing a modified set of kernel patches that allow you to run unsigned code, end quote. But hackers use sideloading for malicious purposes too. They can hide malicious code in functional and seemingly legitimate applications, Trojan horses giving them a foothold on the system through which they can install additional malware. Matthew Grayson McMahon, head of threat research at NetAsia, told CSO Online, quote, Clever criminals try to bundle malware with something useful, such as a free PDF to Word document converter. The user installs the useful tool, blissfully unaware of the malware running in the background. This background malware creates a backdoor, which gives the attacker access to and control of the device, end quote. Researchers at Mimecast last year, 2021, discovered a sideloading campaign that exploited Microsoft's app installer feature to trick users into downloading a malicious app. The attacker sent phishing emails containing a phony link to a PDF file. When the user clicked the link, they'd be taken to a web page that told them they need to install an app in order to view the file. This would bring up a legitimate Windows installation box that asked the user to approve the download, which contained the Trojan. Nerd reference. You're listening to one of the songs from the 2004 movie soundtrack, Troy, starring Brad Pitt, Diane Kruger, Eric Bana, Orlando Bloom, and a host of that guy actors and actresses that we all know. The movie dramatizes Virgil's epic poem, The Aeneid, written between 29 and 19 BCE. The story of how the Greeks, after a fruitless 10-year siege of the city of Troy, tried a deception plan. King Odysseus, the legendary Greek king of Ithaca, and the hero of Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey, built a giant and magnificent wooden horse as a peace offering, left it outside the gates of Troy, and sailed away. The Trojans, thinking their ordeal was over, hauled the giant horse into the city. That night, while the city slept, the Greek fleet sailed back to the Trojan stronghold under the cover of darkness, and King Odysseus secreted away within the belly of the giant horse with some of his best men, snuck out of the horse, opened the gates to let the Greek army in, and burned the city of Troy to the ground. So when you hear that side loading is a kind of a Trojan horse, now you know what we're talking about. (music) 
Word Notes is written by Tim Nodar, executive produced by Peter Kilping, and edited by John Petrick and me, Rick Howard. The mix, sound design, and original music have all been crafted by the ridiculously talented Elliot Peltzman. Thanks for listening. Thanks to our sponsor, Know Before, for making this episode of Word Notes possible. Users are the last line of defense in keeping organizations safe from cyber attacks, and it's critical to keep them trained and on their toes with security top of mind. The team at Know Before are the social engineering experts and pioneers of new school security awareness training. They've got the world's largest training library, and its content is always fresh. Know Before delivers interactive, engaging training on demand. It's done through the browser and supplemented with frequent, simulated social engineering attacks by email, phone, and text. Learn more at knowbefore.com. That's K-N-O-W-B-E, the number four, dot com.